Hello and welcome from 360 Digit MG. This is a video playlist to explain the life cycle of a data science project. In the previous video, we talked about data preparation and the sub-modules EDA, visualization, and feature engineering. Now let us discuss the next phase in the data science life cycle, model development. Model development. This is the core of a data science life cycle. When most people think about data science, they think algorithms, testing out various strategies, tools, and techniques, which form the basis of this phase. In this phase, you select a machine learning algorithm that is appropriate for your problem and then train your ML model. As part of that training, you provide the algorithm with the training data to learn and form the set the model parameters to optimize the training process. Typically, a training algorithm computes several metrics, such as training error and prediction accuracy. These metrics help determine whether the model is learning well and will generalize well for making predictions on unseen data. Metrics reported by the algorithm depend on the business problem and on the ML technique that you use. For example, a classification algorithm can be measured by a confusion matrix that captures true and false positives and true or false negatives, while a regression algorithm can be measured by root mean square error, RMSE. Settings can be tuned to control the behavior of ML algorithm and the resulting model architecture are referred to as hyperparameters. The number and type of hyperparameters in ML algorithms are specific to each model. Some examples of commonly used hyperparameters are learning rate, number of epochs, hidden layers, hidden units, and activation functions. Hyperparameter tuning or optimization is the process of choosing the best model architecture. Best practices for model development. Generate a testing plan before you train your model. Have a clear understanding of the type of algorithm that you want to train. Make sure you, the training data is representative of your business problem. Use managed services for your training deployments. Apply incremental training or transfer learning strategies. Stop training jobs early when the results as measured by the objective are not improving significantly to avoid overfitting and reduce cost. Closely monitor your training metrics because model performance may degrade over time. That concludes this video. In the next video, we will talk about the next phase in the life cycle, model evaluation.